You know, I thought long and hard about whether I should even make this video or not. You know, I am kind of speaking to a smaller uh, portion of the people who watch this channel, and those have been watching me for quite some time. You make it very clear that you appreciate the work that I do and the value that I bring you because this channel is all about teaching as much as I possibly can. There's a lot of subjects I don't touch on because simply I don't feel like I know quite enough about it uh, to really go down that road. So when I do choose to speak about something, it's something that I'm very confident that I can speak with, you know, with, with some conviction and some confidence that I know exactly, uh, you know, kind of what I'm talking about. Am I always right? Of course, I'm not always right. I've never met a person who's always right. But I get asked a question all the time. Hey, Barry, where can we go find your music? Where can we listen to your music? Now, sometimes it'll be as simple as harmless as that. Nothing wrong with asking that question. But some people will come in and be a smart aleck about it uh, and try to make a dig. For whatever reason, I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that mentality. I don't understand why somebody would do, you know, approach approach anyone in that way. Uh, but yet there's there's people out there that do that for whatever reason. And, uh, and I hope at some point, you know, they'll realize that that's really not in their best interest. And that's not the way to go about really communicating as an adult in this world. But, you know, that said, um, you know, I don't, I don't share the music that I've worked on. I think I've made it perfectly clear in another video. I'll put a link to that down below. If you watch this channel and you haven't seen that video, I encourage you to go watch it. Really gives a lot of background into how I gained the knowledge that I have and really kind of speaks about me personally. Rarely do I get into things that are personal for me, but today is one of those. And so, you know, I think I've made it very clear that I'm not some famous uh, engineer, famous producer, none of that. I've made that very, very clear. But I, I do realize and can understand and appreciate the fact that new people are constantly coming to this channel, and they may or may not be aware of those things. So I thought I'd make this video as well as that other video. So when I do get questions, uh, or comments in the comment section, I can just simply uh, drop a link down below to tell them, hey, watch this, and that it will explain everything that you want to know. And so that's really the purpose of this video. Probably for the last 15 years or so, I pretty much exclusively work on Christian music. I am a Christian. I believe strongly in my faith. I'm a flawed human being. Um... I've got a lot to be held accountable for when I do meet the man upstairs, but that's between he and I and not between me and you, and I'm sure hopefully you can appreciate that. But I also, after all these years, I you know, what I didn't want to do with this channel is make this a platform for sharing the gospel per se, you know. I don't think it's effective. I just don't think it's effective. I think it turns more people off because all they want to do, if they don't believe, is find fault in, in what you're saying, and, and it makes it impossible to have a reasonable conversation. So when I share my faith, I do it one-on-one. -on -one. And, and I, you know, I, didn't come to, I didn't come to really know and love God until I was in my 30s, and since that point, it's really transformed my life, and that's an important part of who I am, and it's an important part of my family. And so the last thing I want to do is turn somebody off to God. And I think in this type of environment for this type of subject, that's just not, I don't, I don't believe it's going to be effective. I just don't. And it's not the platform for that. Um, but I have no problem talking about it outside of this, outside of this channel and things like that, because this channel is really designed to um, educate, to share, and to be able to give honest, genuinely honest opinions. That's so hard to come by in my opinion on YouTube. Uh, I think it's very hard to come by. And, and I pride myself to the point where it has affected my growth. It's affected, there are some manufacturers that don't really want to do business with me um, because they may be concerned that I may be honest about it. And I don't hold back my punches when I've got punches to say or when I've got punches to give per se in a, in a verbal sense, obviously. Um, but I think I've pretty developed a pretty strong reputation for that. And so, I, but I can appreciate those that are coming in for the first time and maybe haven't spent that um, spent much time watching me, so they just don't know. So again, I'll be able to link this video to that. And so that's the reason I don't do it. Now that said, you know, I, I've got I've got friends, I've got really very good friends who are gay, uh, and I love and respect them tremendously. I don't judge them based upon their faith or lack thereof. That's not my place to do that. That's between them and God. It has nothing to do with me. I'm not judging anybody. And anybody that knows anything about Christianity says we are not supposed to judge other people. 
be responsible for yourself and your family. And ultimately, outside of that, let God do the work. And so I've got friends who are Muslim, some of the most sweetest and dearest people I've ever met in my life. I've got a very, very good friend um, at work, as an example. And yes, I do work a daytime job. I work 50 to 60 hours a week every week, and I commute over an hour each way. And I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning to come down here and make these videos, and I literally have not taken a day off for two years. So that's the guy you're looking at on this side of the camera. I'm passionate about it, but I work hard. I work very hard. And, and I try to do content that really I think that can be beneficial to others. And so, you know, I, I'm not here to place judgment on other people. Therefore, judgment should not be placed upon me. Ultimately, I think we've got to live the lives that we live in the way that we think is best. And for me, what drives me is my relationship with Christ. And that's what drives me the most. I'm a very flawed human being. I am nowhere near perfect. Don't ever use anything I say or do as an example to judge Christianity. That is a huge misconception and a huge mistake. So this is the first and last time I'm going to talk about that, as far as I can see on this particular channel. And, and so I hope, hopefully you can just appreciate the honesty of it. Uh, I'm not here to cram down, cram anything down anyone's anyone's throat. I'm not here to do that. Uh, I, I live my, I try to live my life by example so that when people can see me, uh, they can see Christ through me. And, and that is the way I, I try very hard. And of course, like any other human being, I fall flat on my face on a regular basis and I fall short. I just had to recently go through something the other day where I was ashamed of myself, um, you know, because of something I'd said on social media and, 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 and so I felt, I didn't even sleep for an entire night and I went back and I apologized for it. And I, cause I really took what was being said out of context and I end up becoming the thing that I talk about the most. You know, I, I criticized the trolls and here I found myself being a troll and it was very humbling. Um, and, and all I can do is be thankful that I learned from the mistake. I wished I hadn't have made it. And no, was it absolutely horrible? No but I hold myself to a higher standard than that. And so I'm going to get off my soapbox about this. Hopefully you understand. Hopefully you can appreciate it. I don't need you to always agree with me, whether it's anything regarding studio work or whether it's anything regarding anything, any lifestyle choices. You be you. You live the life that you're going to live. And the Bible's very clear about it, quite frankly. You know, God will reveal himself when you are ready. And me and no other Christian can make that, can decide that time. We have no idea. For all I know, this video may be doing it for somebody out there. I have no idea that it, that was not the intention. But if that's a byproduct, I'll thank God for that. And thank God that he was able to use me in a way to somehow make a difference and, and lead pe more people towards him. But um, now, if you meet me in person... Don't be surprised if I if I bring up Jesus at some point because I probably will after we get to know each other. Um, but I'm I'm never going to be that person who's going to shove it, you know, down your throat. I'm not going to be one of these people who are on the side of the road yelling out Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming because He is coming uh, at some point. The Bible's clear about that, but who knows when that's going to be? That's also very clear. Um, but I because I don't think that's effective. I think that turns more people off than it does uh, potentially lead people to Christ. But then again, I, no, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge. I, I don't. I simply don't know. I don't know. And I don't think there's a Christian out there. I know there's not a Christian out there that knows because that is kind of what it's all about. Well, not what it's all about, but that's certainly a, 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 an important aspect of it uh, because it is all about faith and believing in something that you can't see, touch, or feel. But when you weigh the evidence back and forth in a logical, analytical manner, for me, um, I, I, I couldn't deny it at that point. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So those of you expecting me to do that, that's why I don't do it. Again, even if I did, I, look, it's not like I've worked on albums and sold a million copies. I haven't. I've just been deeply passionate about music, deeply passionate about recording my entire adult life. I absorb information. I'm constantly learning every day in my life. I'm striving to be a better human being every day of my life. I'm striving to be better at all of this. I'm striving to be better at communicating with you and doing the very best I can. Yes, I make mistakes, but I try very hard to learn from those mistakes so that I don't repeat them. So hopefully you can appreciate the honesty because this is coming to you with complete humility. 
And, and so I hope all of you have a great day and I hope you all live a truly blessed life. Thank you. Bye-bye.